Facts First presents A woman woke up after being dead for 27 minutes, and then she scrawled a spine-chilling message. Tina Hines was a healthy, athletic woman. She met her husband Brian when they were at Biola University in California. The two had two classes together and quickly became college sweethearts. Brian says that in college she was tall and athletic. He says most days when he'd see her, she was jogging. Brian says their relationship progressed quickly, they fell in love really fast, got engaged, and six months later, they were married. After Tina and Brian were married, they had four children and settled down in Phoenix, Arizona. Both Tina and Brian were incredibly dedicated to being parents. Their family and each other is what they focused on most. When a family friend, Jeff Logos, describes Tina, he says everybody loves her. He added, Brian and Tina and their family spread so much joy and happiness in everybody's life. Well, just when things seemed perfect, tragedy struck. It began February 12, 2008. It was a typical Monday, and Tina and Brian went out for a hike, which they had done many times before. When they arrived home, Jeff called them to see if he could come over for a visit. The couple had nothing to do the rest of the day, so they told him, yeah, come on over. Shortly after Jeff arrived at their home, though, is when disaster struck. Jeff says when he got to the house, Tina seemed fine. One second they were standing side by side talking, the next Tina had fallen face first onto the rocks. Brian says there was no warning, it happened so quickly. He knew right away something was obviously wrong, so he called out to Brian to call 911. Jeff knew whatever was happening was obviously serious and Tina required immediate medical attention. Brian, who was in the house at the time, was confused when Jeff told him to call 911. He had just left his wife five seconds earlier. She seemed perfectly fine. Brian ran outside and saw his wife on the ground and then he realized something was wrong and did call 911. When Brian looked at his wife, he was sure that she was having a heart attack. She was unconscious, she wasn't breathing. The 911 operator instructed Brian to lie his wife on her back so that he could perform CPR. Neither Jeff nor Brian had any experience or knowledge of CPR, but the operator gave them instructions over the phone. He and Jeff worked together to keep Tina alive until the paramedics arrived. The two men worked hard. Jeff got tired. Brian looked at the woman that he had known for so many years, 30 years together, and knew that he just couldn't stop. He says that he pushed himself as hard as he could to keep his wife alive. The paramedics arrived at the Heinz home and they immediately took over the CPR to give Tina's exhausted husband a break. Brian looked on as they shocked Tina's heart to get it beating again. Brian says they shocked her heart five times on the way to the hospital, desperate to give it a kickstart. They were doing their best to get her heart beating again. Firefighter Joe Sandman says that had Brian not been performing continuous chest compressions, they likely never could have brought Tina back. While the doctors worked to save Tina, her husband stood by, praying to God to spare his wife. She was down for 27 minutes, things were starting to look very bleak. Finally, the doctors brought Tina back, and after being technically dead for 27 minutes, her heart was now beating again. Brian had never been happier in his life, but what happened next gave him chills. When Tina woke up, she couldn't speak because she was intubated. So she was given a pad and pen and she scribbled the words, it's real. Her family didn't know what to think. She saw the puzzled look on their faces and then she pointed to the sky. She was trying to tell her family that heaven is real. When Brian saw that, he realized that God answered his prayer and brought his wife back to him. When Tina was able to speak, she said that she saw Jesus standing next to the black gates that led to a bright light. She said the colors were so vibrant that she couldn't even explain it. She said the golden rays felt warm and welcoming. Tina is not the only person to claim to have seen something like this during a near-death experience. There's a group that studies people's near-death experiences called the Near-Death Experience Research Foundation. Their website's filled with stories just like Tina's. It kind of makes you believe that the afterlife is real. Brian says he's just thankful that God heard his prayers and spared his wife that day. Do you believe in the afterlife? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.